hi guys after watching this video you won't be buying yogurt for the smart i'm going to teach you how to make this yogurt at the comfort of your own but before we dive right in thanks for clicking this video please like share subscribe to my youtube channel sit back and enjoy first i'll be sterilizing the things i'll be using to make the yogurt i'll be using hot water to sterilize then i'm going to be using dano milk full cream milk please note you have to use full cream milk I'll be, i'm using the 800 gram and the 250 gram I'm going to be using two sachets of yogurt mint. Then I'm going to measure the milk. I got about 12 cups of milk. Then I'm going to be using 24 cups of water. So for 12 cups, I'm going to be using times 2 of water. Then I'm going to mix the water into it. I'm going to be adding the water gradually. As I'm adding, I'm stirring to avoid lumps. As I add, I'll stir. I'll make sure I mix properly so that there will be no lumps. Then I will go in to add the remaining water. Note. I use 24 cups of water for 12 cups of milk. If you are using 6 cups of milk, you use 12 cups of water. So you times the water is times 2 of the milk you are using. So after stirring and there is no lump, I will be transferring it to my gas. I am going to be boiling on low heat. When it is about to come, as I am boiling, I am stirring to avoid it from foaming. Then when it is about to come to a boil, I will turn off the gas. When This is how it looks when it's about to come to it, but it starts swollen round and it looks as if there's foam at the top of it. Then you off your gas immediately, then you allow it to cool down to a point where you can dip your hands for 10 seconds or you can count from 1 to 10. This is what I was doing. If you can dip your hand and count from 1 to 10, that means it's at the right temperature, then you miss your yogurt mint. I'm using two sachets of yogurt mint and you put it in a plate then add your boil mix stay then mix into it mix properly after doing this you can decide to sieve to check if there's any milk lump but if you don't want it you can skip this part then i'm going to go in to use my sieve to sieve the milk and pour into a bowl i'll be using to store it then i'm going to cover you have to cover this very well i'm going to be using nylon face and i'm going to be using wrapper after it you can use try to use blanket after doing this i'm going to transfer to my oven my oven is just i think you can even keep it at a dark place my oven is not going to be on i'm going to be keeping this overnight and then that's it I'm going to be leaving this in the oven overnight and this is what it looks like the next morning when i brought it out then i'll be this i'll be dividing this into two batch i want one sweetened and one unsweetened to sweeten it you just need to add sugar and vanilla flavor you can decide to add the vanilla flavor or not i wanted the vanilla flavor you can either use sugar or honey but when you use honey it doesn't stay long for if you use sugar it will stay about two weeks in the fridge and then more than two weeks in the freezer then this i'm going to mix you can use blender to mix but i'll be using the wig since it's not plenty you wait until it is well dissolved and this is what it looks like just watch the video and see what i did thanks for watching sit back enjoy i'll be uploading more videos on how to make yogurt how to make your own starter how to use greek yogurt to make your own yogurt if you can't find the yogurt mint thanks for watching please subscribe like and merry Christmas in advance thank you